how I made my uh, DIY climbing sticks. So here it goes. I, uh, I made a video and I forgot to give Jared Schaefer credit for the idea in the first place. He had posted some pictures of some sticks that his dad had welded up for him a couple winters ago. And I thought, man, that looks like a nice design. So uh, the thing I really liked about the design was the steps. The steps are flat and they are uh, really comfortable to stand on. So this is made of 6061 aluminum. The uh, steps are 23 inches between steps. It's a uh, 24 inch, uh, one inch square tubing. It's eighth inch thick. Uh, I probably could have gone with 1 16th because this stuff is super strong. I tried, I made four sticks with the intent that I was gonna destroy one to test it, to see how much it could take. And I could not, I could not get it to bend. <coughs> So I have a set of four, which is nice. The steps are made out of angle, angle aluminum, 3 16 uh, I shaved off as much as I could off of the material to make to lighten it up. Versa buttons made out of some hardware from the hardware store with a bushing in there. Uh, I don't like these knobs on the uh, whatever kind of bolts those are called, I don't remember. Just makes it tough to get your daisy chain loop over it sometimes when your fingers are cold or when the daisy chain is nice and snug and you're trying to keep it snug and it's going snug around the Versa button but then you can't get it over that that bolt to get it the rest of the way over. So that's that's minor but that's one of the things that bugs me. Um, if I were to do it again I would move the Versa buttons down toward the middle and that way I'd get more height out of it on the tree when I wrap my uh, rope around the tree I could reach up as high as I can which I do already I reach up as high as I can but um, I could get about five more inches out of each stick right now I'm just under eight feet so I'm using the lone wolf standoffs they're okay they pivot uh, which I don't like because sometimes they just pivot too much on the tree and it's not necessary they just gotta get flopped around also, when I stack them up, um, they have to be make sure they're nice and straight so that they'll stack on top of the other one the way they should. You'll notice that I offset my uh, standoffs and my Versa buttons so that the bolt heads and, and, uh, and nuts aren't bumping into each other. That would require that the sticks be stacked up with much more space in between them if they stacked up. Well, I can't even stack them that way because they won't fit. But if I had to stack them like that, that wouldn't be any good. So I offset everything when I made them. Took a little bit of thinking, but it wasn't too much for my little brain. So you can probably do it too. I used the skid guard safety tape to put it on the, the steps. And this stuff is very grippy. Very grippy. I've been on on these sticks in ice, rain, snow, mud, and your feet just do not slip. So it's very good stuff. Feel very secure with it. Also the adhesive on this stuff that it sticks to these this aluminum, man, that stuff is, you're just not gonna get it off of there. I don't think I'd even wanna try to peel it off. I just used spray paint, three different colors of spray paint, and sprayed onto a piece of cardboard and used a piece of paper towel to to lap it up and then, and then dab it on the on the sticks all, all around and it, they look pretty good on a tree breaks them up nicely let's see what else can i say about these oh i was going to say something else about the standoffs i did order some uh double step standoffs from dano and those go on and they don't turn they have a, a piece that comes up on each side of the stick so that when it goes on the stick they don't uh it does it can't pivot they actually they actually came in already uh but he forgot to send the hardware so i'm just waiting for the hardware but they go on ob obviously on the other side but you see they go on like that so they don't they don't pivot once they're screwed on there they're just going to stay also they stand off a little bit further from the tree 
which will be nice. I'll have more toe room for my toes. There's about an extra inch of standoff there, depending on how big around the tree is. These are nice and quiet on a glass table too. So uh, I made daisy chain out of 764th amp steel for the for my rope mods. And like I said, this little this little nut head is the only thing I don't like about using daisy chain loops. Could have made my loops just maybe a smidge bigger, but it's not bad. This one is small enough that it can't fall off when I'm in the woods and it hardly ever comes off. And the only time it's on there is when I'm making a video. So then I, I wrap them around one-handed. I wrap them around and around the bottom, around the top one more time. Then I have a piece of uh, bungee cord and I just go over the bottom step like that with it. And then I can stack them up. They stack up really nice, especially when you get these uh, standoffs straightened out. They stack up nicely. I have four of them, as I said before, and I have them numbered. So I start with number one, and then number two goes on that top of that. Number three goes on top of number two. And then number four goes on the top of that. And then they're all stacked together. So you see how nicely they're stacked together. One thing I didn't show you too, that I will now, is that because these bolt heads stick up, they're also a little bit in the way. And so what I did is, where the heck am I looking here? There we go. I'll show you this way. I drilled a hole in the bottom of each stick where that bolt head touches. And I drilled a hole big enough for that thing to sit inside there. So it's not going to create extra spacing between the sticks. It'll nest right down in there. Once I have them all together, then I just take a piece of night ties gear tie and I wrap it around the all four of them or three of them or two of them if I'm only using two and that keeps them all nice and snug together and they do not rattle they don't make any noise at all which is really nice and then what I'll often do if I'm riding my bike in or even if I'm hiking in I will take uh, one of Carl I don't know how to say his last name, Kosuth, Kosuth. He's with Tethered and he makes the Versa strap. I take his, uh, before he started making them for Tethered, he was making them on his own and I bought one from him that was uh, for hanging gear in your tree. And uh, I use that because the loops are a little bit looser on them. And I loop one loop over here and I loop the other loop over on the opposite side over here. And then I, it creates a sling and I just put that right over my shoulder. And then that thing was being used as an aider for me as well. And I still can use it that way as an aider, although I'm using some other things right at the moment to get a little higher. So that's that. What else can I tell you about it? They, I was, my goal was to build a stick under two pounds. These things came in with the rope and with the paint weighing at just under two pounds i'm not kidding you two pounds and 15 ounces i i i had to laugh when i weighed it i thought are you serious i got that close so i weighed all of them they all came in at the same weight same number of washers same length of rope i guess they just they're all right there one pound 15 ounces so i met my goal of being under two pounds a piece so they're pretty nice i like them they're really comfortable to stand on these uh, flat steps. You can stand on those and set your next stick or stand and use it as part of your platform if you want. And they're just real comfortable. Oh, I was going to say something about the holes too. I drilled all these holes thinking I was going to reduce some weight. When I, when I drilled one out and I weighed it and compared it to one that had not been drilled the amount of difference was so negligible that if you don't want to do the holes 
don't do them because they're really not saving you any weight. You can do a lot of different things to save weight besides drilling all those holes, like, like spitting. So there you have it. If you have any questions, just uh, ask down below. I try to answer everybody quickly. And uh, go ahead and uh, like the video if you think this was helpful. And, and subscribe to my channel. My kids are always impressed when people watch my videos. So go ahead and do that. And help me impress my kids. All right. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later.